What's happening people, it's James Beardwell here and welcome back to another James Beardwell Away Day vlog. I'm going to be making the short trip to watch Braintree Town against Slough Town FC in their Vanarama League South. And I'm really looking forward to this and I know I had a few people asking me when I'm going to be doing my longer journeys around the UK but... I've confirmed it will be sometime in March because it will be sort of like it will get lighter and getting a bit warmer as well. And the reason why I haven't been doing my longer journeys because because it's really cold in the winter period and they've got so many games being postponed so far and that is why I can't do any longer journeys in the winter period because that would be a wasted journey if the game has been called off when I made my long trip. So it's pointless for me. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to make the short trip to watch Braintree Town against Slough Town as a neutral. And now I'm about to get the bus to be on my way to Braintree very shortly. bus on the way to Braintree for Braintree Town FC to get ready to watch Braintree Town against Slough Town as a neutral and yeah the bus journey went pretty well just currently left Whitton about half an hour ago and literally coming to near Braintree pretty shortly and like I said the reason why I couldn't do a longer journey because in the winter period is pretty cold and sometimes a lot of matches have been called off so the last time I did my long long train journey was to Lancaster City FC last season in September and that was a really really long journey that day and but I'll definitely be back to do my longer train journey around about from March time and anyway I'm really looking forward to the game as a neutral and and I'm currently nearly arriving in Braintree shortly and I'm really looking forward to the great match as a neutral. I'm now arrived at Braintree Town FC to get ready to watch Braintree Town against Slough Town as a neutral and yeah the bus journey went pretty well up to Braintree, it took about 35 minutes and I'm really looking forward to a really good game as a neutral point of view and it'll be really really good to see Braintree Town win this game but it'll be really really tough against Slough Town I reckon because I think Slough Town, Slough Town are currently flying high in the league at the moment but I think Braintree Town will be up for this I reckon but I'd like to see Braintree Town win, but like I said, it's going to be really, really tough. But can this be a fantastic game for the neutrals? Hello, mate. <laughs> Go on, boys! <laughs> and it's a way day version. <laughs> Everyone, Just over the bar. Corner to Slough Town. Is there a goal at the Avely FC's Parkside Stadium of Avely against Whitton Town? Not at the moment, it's Avely nil, Whitton Town nil. Brilliant save from the Braintree Town keeper.
One nil to Slough Town. Oh, he's giving off. Oh, he's giving offside. Oh, he's giving offside. It won't count. It won't count. Just wide. There has been a goal at the Avery FC's Parkside Stadium of Avery versus Whitton Town. Is it good news or bad news? Unfortunately, it's bad news. It's Avery 1, Whitton Town 0. Things have slightly gone bad to worse for Whitton Town at the moment after that 7 1 heavy defeat against. Canvey Island on Tuesday, which things gone a bit bad to worse, but there's still plenty of time left in the throughout the whole game. And so far at the moment, it's not very good news at the moment. It's Avely one, Whitton Town nil. Oh, just wide! One nil to Slough Town. The half-time score, Braintree Town nil, Slough Town 1. The first half, Braintree Town played pretty well in the first half, but Slough Town showed some more attacking flowing football in the first half. And can this be a fantastic game for the neutrals? And can Braintree Town get back in the, in the game? Go on, boys. There has been another goal at the Avery FC's Parkside Stadium. Looks like Avery FC are further in front, isn't it? Yeah, I'm afraid it is. It's Avery 2, Whitton Town 0. Things have got a little bit bad to worse, but hopefully can Whitton Town get back in the game throughout the second half. So far at the moment is Avery 2, Whitton Town 0. Brilliant defending from the Braintree Town player. There has been another goal at the Avery FC's Parkside Stadium. So it looks like Avery wrapped it up. I'm afraid it is. It's Avery 3, Whitton Town 0. Things have gone pretty bad for Whitton Town, so looks like it's good night Vienna. It's Avery 3, Whitton Town 0. Corner kick to Braintree Town. There has been another goal at the Avery FC's Parkside Stadium. Just like we said earlier, it's good night Vienna, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's Avery 4, Whitton Town 0. Oh dear, looks like they're not going to get back in this this time for Whitton Town. And things need to get sorted out pretty soon. And like I said, it's good night Vienna. Avery 4, Whitton Town 0. Fantastic support from the Slough Town supporters on the left-hand side. Looks fantastic support. There has been another goal at the Avery FC's Parkside Stadium. Is this a consolation goal for Whitton Town? Yes, it is. It's Avery 4, Whitton Town 1. Consolation goal for Whitton Town. Looks it's pretty good but it's still Avery FC's afternoon. It's Avery 4, Whitton Town 1. The full-time score, Braintree Town 0, Slough Town 1. And here we've got Maurice, the Braintree Town supporter, and also a fellow groundhopper. Maurice, what, what is your thoughts on Braintree Town at, at the moment so far? Uh, well, today's game was, was disappointing. It would have been nice to have got something. I think we should have got something. I think the referee wasn't particularly good himself. 
but it would have been nice to have followed up with a with, with something after uh, having such a good win last week. But well, so long as we stay up, that'll be, be uh, more than adequate, really. Yeah, the main thing for Braintree Town is to stay in the league. It's the main thing. And what needs to improve for Braintree Town this season? Just need to take a chances, really. Need to play more. Of them. Just need to play better football, really. Need to. That's all, all we can do, really. Yeah. And how long have you been supporting Brain, Braintree Town? About seven years now, I think. That's brilliant. Seven years. And uh, where do you think Braintree Town will finish this season in the league? Uh, I think probably about 18th, 18th, 19th. Thank you so much for your time. I'm unlucky about the defeat and you, enjoy the rest of the season. Yep. Cheers, James. Thanks. I'm now with the Slough Town joint managers, John and Neil. Guys, what is your thoughts on the game and how about that for a victory? And what a great way to win for Slough Town at Braintree Town. Yeah, no, we're, we're pleased. We're pleased today. I thought we were we were good first half. I thought we deserved to be in front, and um, um, you know, probably potentially maybe two or three up. Um, but I thought second half they had a real go at us, and they had two or three good opportunities. Uh, they could have could have nicked something. I think on the on the balance of the game, we probably deserved the win. But um, I thought they did really well second half. But we had to dig in deep, and I thought we defended really well second half. Yeah, no game is ever easy in this league, and you know they're they are a much changed side. They've had a lot, a lot of uh, a big overhaul of players, but what they are is they're a young side and um, full of energy and full of enthusiasm. They didn't they didn't lay down, and we, yeah, we had some uncomfortable moments at the end of the game. But uh, like, like Bake said, I think over the course of the game, we probably feel we were we were probably worthy one goal winners. Yes, yeah, so that's a fantastic result for Slough Town. And do you think the players put 110 percent today? Yeah, yeah, they always do. I'm, I mean, our lads, are, we've got an honest bunch, to be honest, and and uh, I think they work really hard for us. Uh, they, they put their heads on the line, um, bodies on the line, and uh, yeah, I thought, thought we were, on the whole, pretty pretty good. So we, to come away from home and, and get a clean sheet and three points is exactly what we wanted. Thank you both so much for your time and enjoy the weekend. No problem, Sanju. Cheers, Thanks, James. Mate. Thank you. Thanks. No problems. Well done, mate. Thanks. Nice to meet you. So here you go, it's been a really enjoyable day at my visit at Braintree Town and that was a really, really good game between Braintree Town and Slough Town for the neutrals and also in the other full-time score and also there's been another goal at the AVFC's Parkside Stadium and, and there's another con consolation goal for Whitton Town, it is. Avely 4, Whitton Town 2. It was around about the 90th minute when Whitton Town got another consolation goal. And anyway, it's been a really enjoyable day. And I will definitely come and visit Braintree Town again one day. And it's been a really, really enjoyable day. And I wish them all the very best for the rest of the season. So that's it for me and I'm just on the bus on my way back from Braintree now and it's been a fantastic day and I've really enjoyed my visit at Braintree Town Football Club to watch the game against Slough Town as a neutral and Slough Town deserved the victory, the 1-0 win and Braintree Town got a little bit unlucky with a late draw but unfortunately Braintree Town had to come away with a 1-0 home defeat. And as I just interviewed Maurice, the Braintree Town supporter after the game, he looked absolutely dejected after the game because he looked absolutely disappointed, bless him. But there's always next time and in the next game. But like I said, Slough Town deserved the victory. And from a neutral point of view, it's been a fantastic game. And it's been a yeah, like it's been a really enjoyable day, and I will definitely come and visit Braintree Town again one day. Hope you enjoyed today's James Beardwell Away Day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below, and I'll keep you up to date when I'll be doing my next James Beardwell Away Day vlog next Saturday. 
it looks very, very likely I could be heading off to Dulwich Hamlet next Saturday. But like I said, we'll see how it goes and, and I'll decide what I'm going to do next Saturday. And also, unlucky for my team, Whitton Town, with a 4-2 away defeat to Avely. And hopefully the club needs sorting out for Whitton Town. But, but we'll just hopefully that Whitton Town will get a next win. Win the next game, hopefully. But we'll see how it goes. And like I said, I'll keep you up to date when I'm going to be doing my next vlog. Next Saturday on my James Beardwell Way Day. And I'll see you all later on in the next vlog.